his mum and dad magpie and they've got their baby with them, he's fledged. So they're still coming up to get food from me. And then they take it down to the baby. Taking that for your baby, hey? What about you? Do you want the rest? Take it for your baby. There's the little magpie family down there. Oops, <laughs> I'm trying to focus on it. Between the trees, they've got their little baby there. Two babies. Two babies. They're feeding their babies. G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Who remembers my gorgeous little turtle that I made? Look at that. I am going to do another turtle for you today. But there's one big difference. And when I say big, I mean big. Look at this. You guys, look at my new turtle. Oh my gosh. I have not poured in it yet. Today will be the first time. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of it. There's the other one. Look at that. <laughs> it's just huge. Oh my gosh. So super, super excited. So I'm actually going to go along these lines uh, where I put, I'm going to put pebbles in the flippers, but I'm going to do something a little bit different um, in here. I'm not going to put stones in the body. I'm going to do something different and then put stones in the flippers. So stay tuned while we use this monster mold. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I want to put some eyes in it. And I've got these, I've got these glass eyes. I thought they would look really nice. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, with my marker on the outside of my turtle, I'm just going to basically draw in roughly where his eye is and then hopefully, yes I can, I can see on the other side, because he's got a bit of an eyelid there, so I want to get under the eyelid, so that's just going to give me a rough idea of where to place the eye, and then, see, I don't know if you can see in there, you can actually see, well I can, you probably can't see where I'm, can't see what I'm seeing. And then I'm going to just take, um, what will I use, I'll just use a little bit, I'll just use my little silicone brush here, just to get a drop of that UV resin, oops, 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 I've dropped it. I dropped my drip. Obviously had a bit much on there. Just want to have a little bit on there. Make sure there's no no bubbles. And I'm just going to wipe that. Just in that little area there that I can see has got my little black ring for the eye. I'm going to make sure there's no bubbles so I'll just give it a little bit of a torch and put that just in that little eye there and then I'm going to get my little eye and I think I'll use a little tweezers That'll do. That'll do. I'll just pop it in there. 
like so. Sorry, I know you can't, you probably can't see. I just need to pop it into there, like so. Give it a bit of a push. And oh, I wish I had one of those UV torches. I don't have one though. I wish I had one. I wish I had one. Uh, I'm just going to aim that over there like that just to get it, um, just to kind of get it secured a little bit on where I want it. And then I can turn it over and uh, get the UV to go through the mould onto the other side of the eye. So basically this is just going to cure the little bit of resin that kind of oozes out from that little blob that I did of resin and then stuck the eye on. little blob oozed out the side no doubt. Um, and then this will just cure it, keep it in place. And then I can turn it. I think it's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? <laughs> Let me know if you've got a better idea. I don't know. I um, haven't put a lot of eyes into moulds. Not really. So it's still pretty new to me. And of course you don't have to do this. You can colour your eye, draw your eye, paint your eye afterwards, after you've unmoulded it. There's some amazing artists out there who can paint eyes. I, unfortunately, am not one of them. I'm not an eye painter. Alright, so I let that cure for about just under a minute. Now very carefully I'm going to move it so that I can cure this side like so. So I'll keep it on for another couple of minutes. I'll put you on pause so that you don't have to Can someone press pause on my camera? <laughs> oh, I haven't got another hand. All right, let me just put this down carefully. I guess, oh, look, I can do it on the side like that. Look at that. Look at that. I can do that. That's curing it on the side as well because I've got the lamps on that side. So I'm going to do that for two minutes um, and then I'm going to do the other eye. All right, that one seems to be staying I'm not going to push it or anything because I will give it a little bit more time I just want to do the same to this one so I'm going to just drop a little bit of resin on here just a little dot and then very carefully tip this over and put my little droplet in there like so, dripped a bit on the side, <laughs> and another little drop, give it a bit of a torch real quick, and let it just drop into that little eye there, that little eyelid space. Now I know you can't see, sorry, I need to hold it like this so that I can see what I'm doing. make sure I haven't got any resin dropped over the edge. Pick up the little eye. Whoops. Pick up the little eye. <laughs> oh gosh. It was kept moving away. There we go. Pick up the little eye. And it in there okay that's where I want it like so sorry if you can't see and I'm gonna do this hold that there and just give it a bit of UV yep I think it's I think it's in the right spot all right here we go a little bit of UV so I'll just give it like 30 or 40 minutes minutes 30 or 40 seconds just to kind of hold it in place there um, same as I did on the other one and then I will turn it over and then I can cure the other side I think that was a brilliant idea of mine marking the eye with the marker on the outside because it's a pretty translucent sort of a 
mold. It's kind of white, but it's also translucent. So you can UV through it um, and you can see through it. So if you put your marker where you want it, you can definitely see where to put the eye on the other side. So yeah, great idea of mine, I must say. <laughs> All right, we're up to 20 seconds. There's no point in me pausing you for another 10 seconds. Just bear with me or fast forward. I know it's not terribly exciting. But those of you that want to see how to put eyes in, you might be interested. Right, so that's had 35 seconds. Okay, so I think he's pretty good where he is. So I'm just going to do this side of him now like that. Oops, I'll just hold on to that so it's not putting any pressure on the head. And I'm going to leave it like that for two minutes, same as I did with the other one. Whoops, 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 don't, don't slip. And um, then I'm going to do both eyes at the same time. I'm just going to leave it in there for a few minutes. So once all that's done, I will come back to you. Right, oh, that is done. The eyes are in. Now I am using my deep pore resin. It's this one from Let's Resin, deep pore. Uh, you can pour it up to four inches, which is perfect for that. I'm not going to pour it that deep, um, but <laughs> it's perfect for this. So I can, I can, it's great that you can just pour something deep in one, one go, hey. So I'm going to just put this stick here so that I can pour onto the stick so that I'm not making too many splashes and then the the bottom of the stick is almost touching the mold not quite that just reduces the splashing um, which obviously reduces bubbles as well so it's a good little tip for you just pour slowly that's gonna go into the head Super excited about this, you guys. And now you're probably all saying to yourself, Julie, where did you get that mold? Julie, can I get that mold? I really, really want that mold. No one else in the world has got this mold. Can I get it? And yes, you can get it. Of course you can get it. It is my mold, it is my design. It is now in my Amazon US store and it's in my Australian eBay store. So if you have always, always dreamed of doing a giant, amazing, amazing turtle, this is your chance to get one. And I'm just going to torch very, very lightly, just in the middle here, not anywhere near my mold. And there's a little speck of something there so basically that's that's all I'm going to do for this layer um, because in here I want to do pebbles so I'm going to let this one cure and it will take oh, at least a day it, if you were going to unmold you'd have to leave it two days but because I'm going to do another layer um, I can come back to it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm chasing a little dot around. I can come back to it tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to tell you about what I'm going to do with the next step. All right? Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. It is just crystal clear. It's a really low bubble resin. Um, the That's Resin Deep Pore. Um, I will link Let's Resin for you down in my description. Um, and there's three different websites. There's the... US, I think there's the UK and the normal Let's Resin site. And if you go to any of those websites and buy any product through those websites and use my code, you can get a 10% off. So win win. Winner winner chicken dinner. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow once this has had a chance to set up. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with, the, with this area here. All right, see you soon. Right out. So this is the next morning and look, it has cured. It's rock hard. So yay. I thought it was going to take two days, but I guess because it's deeper, it's cured faster. Um, so I'm going to show you the next step. I'm just going to move that to the side. Now, do you remember when I used the fantasy film and uh, I heated it up? This is what it looks like. Fantasy film. Um, 
There's another name for it as well. Can't remember at the top off the top of my head, but this is what it looks like. Comes in a, a roll like this. And if you heat it, um, and I use my heat gun, then it goes all crinkly like this. And if you put it like another colour underneath it, um, it sort of really, really sparkles and shines. It's really amazing. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I've, I've done a few pieces already. Here's, here's my bits that I've prepared earlier. So those I've already done. And I'm going to do this one. Now, if you overheat your piece, it can kind of look like this. Like you get a big section where it's got no crinkles as well. Um, if it blows over onto itself, it'll come over and stick to itself. So it can be a little bit tricky. It takes a bit of practice. Um, but I do think that the heat guns work better than just the um, you know, those smaller ones. Uh, so just on low. And let's see if I can do this one. Keep the heat moving. Don't just put it in one spot. As I said, if you overheat it in one spot, it'll just go flat and it won't sort of crinkle. So we'll see what I can do here. Sorry if you can only see the back of the heat gun, but I just need to keep it moving. And you can see it's starting to crinkle already. Turn it round. So yeah, just take it slowly, take your time. Too much heat and you will ruin it. You'll get sections that just don't crinkle, so just take your time. Whoops, pull the heat gun away. Might be easier to hold it with a stick or something so that you don't burn your fingers. And then I just keep turning it. You do get a bit of airflow from this heat gun, so you just got to be careful you don't blow it too hard because it will fold over onto itself. But you can see there it's crinkling nicely. I really like these, I really like these um, big thicker chunky lines between it because it really shows like the gold colour between. This one's called Blue Nile and I just thought the blue and the green and that would look nice with my turtle. So again, don't overheat it. You're better off stopping a little, you're better off stopping a little bit earlier than, than later. All right, so they, there's that one. All right. Now, I don't know if you can see, but one side is concave, as in curved, and then the other side has got the dips on it, like a convex shape. So I like to put the concave, the bumpy side, down into my resin. Now, the little bits that are kind of poking up or curled around the edges, I just take my scissors and I, I tend to just snip off the edges because they kind of crinkled up a little bit. If your edges are okay you could leave them but I tend to find that the edges yeah, they just do sort of crinkle up a little bit so I just trim them off like so and there we go. Can you see the difference between these two pieces? This one worked, this one didn't. <laughs> you could still, don't throw it out, you could still you know, cut it up into little pieces and shred it and like make little confetti or something like that out of it. So don't waste them. <clears throat> so I'll just hang up that heat gun again. Now I've got these pieces. Do it on a, a board, a breadboard, some kind of piece of timber that's um, you know, not going to melt. I'll bring this back carefully 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 <clears throat> so basically what I want to do I've, um, I'm going to mix up a little bit more resin and uh, I'm going to bring it up to what can I point with this I'm going to bring it up to just under here where the shell ends you can see I, I don't want to bend it too much in case I loosen my resin but just to here it's about a centimeter like half an inch um, and then I'm going to pop my my pieces in and I'm going to let that cure and then I'm going to come back and fill it with stones. So I've got some bit of weird shapes here. But um, just going to kind of trim them a little bit so that they fit 
into my turtle shell. Um, and then I don't mind if it's overlapping a little bit. I'm, I'm not fussed. I'm just going to like, you know, put them wherever just so that they all kind of fit in nicely. Now I've got a tail in here. So you've got to make sure that you get your resin into that tail, okay? But this uh, fantasy film I only want on the actual shell of the turtle. So... going to do that with it this I need a little bit of a check out just here I'm going to snip that out there up to you whether you want to do this or whether you just want to put put pieces in and, and let them overlap you know that's fine too like so a little bit of a curly edge on that one all right so that's going to go there that's going to go there um i'll just i'll play with it a little bit uh, get my pieces in i think i've got enough to cover the whole thing so we'll just trim it up just a little bit more that one that one's the, probably the best one it can go in the middle and it's probably easier to kind of do it now isn't it <laughs> then you know that they get a fit rather than trying to do it later when your resin's wet And it's a bit tricky to, to get them in then, isn't it? So put it there where you want it and then you can just mark where that flipper's going and then trim that off. I think that'll fit there nicely. Yep, so that one goes there, that one goes there. That one goes there. <clears throat> and then this one. Actually, that's not going to go under there at all because it's going to come up, up a little bit higher. Isn't it? Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it there. Maybe I'll just leave it there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, I think I will leave it there. Otherwise, I'm going to have fantasy film in, in there, aren't I? That's not going to work. All right, now where's this one going to go? I want this one. I don't want this one kind of going into the head. So let's do, let's do that one there. That can just kind of stop there. And I'll just trim this little bit here. And then that can go into that section. Like so. I'm going to take a little bit more off here. off this end just here anyway you get the general idea I'll come back to you once I've kind of fitted them all in okay I've trimmed all my little pieces didn't have to do it too too much all right now I'm gonna add oops there's a bit of glitter in there I'm gonna add the rest of this resin that I've just made up now this is not a deep pour because I'm not pouring it deep again a bit of glitter. Glitter everywhere. All right. No, I didn't get it. Oh, gosh. This is the Platinum Ultra Clear. Because it's a nice thin resin, so hopefully you won't get too many bubbles in it. You could, of course, use the Deep Pour again. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd just use this one. Because I'm not going to pour it very deep, and um, I don't want it to take too long to cure. Here we go. All right, so let's just do... Oh, gosh, look at this more glitter. Once you've used glitter in your studio, that's it. <laughs> you've got glitter forever. Did I get it? Did I get it? Or has it gone underneath somewhere? Oh, 
I think I think that's it on the stick there. It's all right. Let's just do a thin little covering here. Just like so. Not sure exactly how much I'm going to need just yet. Let's give that a light little torch. Make sure there's no glitter in it. Well, I saw another bit. Try and get it as clear as you can. <laughs> yeah, pick your glitter out. Okay. Oh, that's a bit of my black marker on the edge there. Now, don't worry too much if uh, the resin goes up into the flippers. It, it won't matter because we're putting clear resin in there with pebbles anyway, so it's not going to matter if if you do have um, some clear going in there. I'll just put a little bit more in. kind of want it to go into the, the turtleneck. <laughs> I don't really want to have pebbles in there. So that's why I'm sort of think, hoping it will go in here. Yes, it did, it did, it did. Okay, so it wasn't exactly what I had planned. So I was only going to, first of all, I was going to do a, a deeper layer so that it went in there. And then I thought, oh, I'll just do a thin layer. And then I'm back to a deeper layer. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. Just whatever works, whatever works. Okay, so that's it there. Just want to make sure that I've got no bubbles in that neck there. Push that down. Okay, I think that's good. I don't see any bubbles in the neck. Alrighty. Just pop these few little bubbles so you can see the re the clear resin's gone over the flippers there which is fine I'm happy I'm happy with that I don't mind that because we're gonna put stones on top anyway so you're not gonna see that just hoping I've got I don't have any bubbles in I don't know I, I, I think it's just the skin the wrinkled skin that I can see on there I don't think there's any bubbles as such all right so now what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do I am just going to put this fantasy film and use one of these. I'm going to actually submerge them because I think they'll float, but I want to make sure that they're submerged so that we're not getting any sort of bubbles um, underneath them. I kind of slide them into the resin. You could wait till your resin was a bit tacky um, and then just kind of stick them on top but you may get a couple of bubbles if you do it that way i'm just trying to avoid bubbles the dreaded bubbles now just put these where i initially had them just move them around a bit and submerge that one. I can kind of see if I'm getting a bubble caught. Just pushing from here. So pushing, hopefully pushing the any bubbles out if there are any. And then pop it back over here where I was wanting it. It's a couple of bubbles come to the surface, which is fine. They they can just come up and and pop or I can scoop them out. I can use my tiny little torch to pop those little bubbles but there's not too many of them. Now this one again I submerge it as well. And then it can just kind of go in here. Oh actually the tail, I forgot the tail, okay. I can see there's a bubble in there. Let's give them a squeeze. Give them a squeeze. 
We don't want any bubbles in our tail, do we? Let's go put that in there into his little tail. And hopefully there's no no bubble in there. So yeah, don't forget your tail, okay? Don't forget your tail. All right, now this one is going in here around this way. I think that's where I had it. Like so. Okay, now don't worry about if your little bits of paper stick up a little bit because we're going to be putting that top coat on anyway. So don't worry too much about that. Now my other piece here that I've got, I'm just going to add, see some areas have got a doubled up. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit more on the areas that aren't doubled up. Again, try and slide it into the resin, like so. And then if you see a little bubble, you can just push it, comes to the surface. You can give it a light little torch or you can just pop it. Okay, there's that one. Now this area up here just needs another little, <clears throat> a little bit of a, a double up. So we'll just slice that little bit there and pop it in here. Like so, it doesn't have to be exact, exact, exact. I can see a bubble under there. Get out, get out, shoo. I see you. There we go. Getcha. All right, now this other little bit. Um, wanting a little bit through here, so I think I'll just put a bit of a curve on that one. And I don't need all of that. I'll keep that little tiny bit. I'll just put a curve on that one and stick it in there. So this is just your top layer. Not really going to see it all that much, so don't worry too much about its placement. And then I've got this little bit here. Pop that in there. And I've got another tiny little bit here. My little leftovers. You could cut some more. Heat it again. If you wanted to do a bit more, by all means. So that's pretty much it. I can see I've got a little bit of air in there as well. Still a bit of air under there. What I'll do is next time I put my clear resin in, I'll just I'll just um, go in there and fill that little bit up. So that, that little bit there this won't be an issue at all. So there we go. That's it for my second layer. So let that cure up, um, and then I'll come back and uh, we'll do the pebbles. We'll do the pebbles. So see you soon. Okay, this has set. I have got my pebbles, my aquarium pebbles. Uh, I did rinse them. Uh, what I do is I get a big bowl and I fill it up with water and I put a sieve over the top of it and then I pour my stones into it and I just shake, shake, shake like that and then I can lift it up and the stones will come out and I can change the water and then do it a few times and make sure the water, the water runs clear. So that's, that's my pebbles. I've decided to go with the greyish ones. Um, this one had like more of the brownie tones. So I'm gonna go with the gray tones because I think it'll look nice with the blue. So I have mixed up some resin 
Um, <laughs> I ended up mixing up way too much. You know when you're pouring your part B and I'm only supposed to do like 65 grams and I went over, I went to 85 grams. And so it was an extra 20 and then I had to double that. So I then I had to do like another 40 of part A. Anyway, I've got too much, but that's all right. I can make some puffy hearts or something out of it. So what I'm going to do first is I just want to make sure that I'm getting some resin into these little tips here of the flippers. Just want to wet it. Now I'm not going to need a lot of resin because most of the space of the mold is going to be taken up with pebbles. Now I do need to get into here. See this little bit here that's still got some air in it. So I need to carefully just push some resin down into that area. Like so. A little bit more. Make sure I've got it filled up before I do anything else because I don't want any pebbles in there. And as I push it, you can see the bubble come out the other end there. I need to put a little bit more in. So what I would do is push it down like that and then as the resin comes in, I can let go and hopefully it'll suck the resin in. That's the plan anyway. But I mean, if you wanted pebbles in the bottom of your turtleneck, you could certainly do that. I'm just going to tip it a bit so that I get that resin in there. Still a little bubble there. I think that's it. Get rid of those bubbles as they come up. Okay, I think that's it. I don't have any more bubbles coming in. So I'll keep an eye on it anyway, but I may need to just run a little bit more in. Um, so here it goes. Here it goes. All we're going to do now is... Look at those couple of little bubbles that came up out of that neck there. Might still be another one. Anyway, here we go. I am going to sprinkle in my pebbles like so. Now there's no resin up here. It's all run down, so I'll have to just put some more in. I just want to do a little light covering first. And then I can add more resin and more pebbles. So I've got about, I guess, a centimetre left. Just under half an inch left of um, depth in the mould for my pebbles and my extra resin. And there we go. And I've still got a bubble in there for some reason. Add a little bit more resin. I don't want to put too much resin in because I want enough room for the pebbles. All right, I'm going to get another scoop. After the um, pebbles had been washed, I just I lay out my piddle pad and, uh, you know, puppy piddle pad, and I tipped all the pebbles on that and I spread them out so that um, they would dry nicely. So that's what I did. Get some resin over these little flippers here. Because we don't want any air bubbles in the edges of those flippers. So I'll make sure that we're getting the resin right into those. And I will give them a bit of a, a push just with my silicone brush, just making sure that the resin is going into those little tips there. Before I add anything else, make sure that the resin's gone in there. I don't have to worry about the tail because we filled the tail the other day. Okay, so that's all good that's all good I am using the platinum 
ultra clear resin because it's a nice thin resin and it's it's not very likely to um, keep a lot of bubbles because it's so thin your thinner resins you know the bubbles will come up and pop much more easily than your thicker resins will so I'm using that if for whatever reason you do end up with a bubble in in a flipper um, you can you can fill it it's not hard to fill with some UV resin or you could wait and and you know you could put a little bit of other resin in the little hole if you do have a hole so there are ways of, of filling in little bubble holes if you do get them so don't be too concerned there are ways of fixing them all right so again make sure that I've gone into all the little edges and what I'll do when I'm finished um, and you've seen me do it on other projects with stones is when I'm finished with it I'm happy with it I'll put a piece of plastic over it and weigh it down with um, like a breadboard or something just so that the the top which will be the bottom of the turtle uh, will be nice and flat because you don't want it to be bumpy or uneven if it's going to be sitting on your table displaying in your living area in your house or on your bookshelf or in your kitchen or wherever you want to put it you want to make sure that it's sitting nice and flat so we will make sure that it is sitting flat a little bit more resin and then a little bit more pebble it's almost full now hope you're enjoying my video i'm enjoying making it enjoying making this huge turtle oh my gosh i'm gonna be so, oh, so looking forward to unmolding it i know the exact place i'm gonna keep it right in the middle of my living room my lounge room on the coffee table for everyone to see <laughs> it's gonna be great all right a few more pebbles All right, so I'm just going to spread these out a little bit more. I won't bore you with it. I'll come back to you when I'm ready to place my bit of plastic. Okay, I'm just going to poke these down a little bit more um, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, that is done. Um, I also got a pop stick and I just went like that over the top of it all just to kind of push it make sure it was level I think it's pretty level now I've just got a plastic bag here and I'm gonna pop that over look at that just fits just fits now if you wanted to you could just push it all like that Now I guess there's two ways of doing this. You can either put the plastic bag on like that, although it kind of traps a little bit of air. See, it gets a little bit of air in there. Um, so maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave it this time just to kind of set, because it is, it is level like this. I can do that. It is level. I might, I might leave it because you see the bubbles are getting trapped underneath the plastic. So I may just actually leave this one as is. Yeah, change my mind. Change my mind. I can do that. I can do that. So it's it's level. We'll just leave it like that. Um, I was going to put the plastic and, and the board on, but yeah, it's it might just catch a few bubbles underneath it. And then when you turn it over, you'll think, oh, look at those bubbles. I'm not happy with that. So... I'll just leave it hey I'll just clean this up clean up the edge there with my little baby wipe and and that's it okay we'll leave it like that I'll give it just a tiny little torch just I'm just torching the bubble the, the bubbles I'm just torching the um the pebbles don't go near your mold don't go near your mold okay you'll burn your mold your resin will fuse to it don't do it all right 
Um, so if you want to be doubly sure, you can just grab your pop stick and just go over it like this. Just do that again because I had the plastic on it and I've kind of maybe moved some of the pebbles. Just like that with your pop stick. Make sure that that's all level. Like so. I think that's pretty good. It's probably the best way to do it. Make sure that it's all all in there. Um, and of course, if you did want to make sure that it was totally, totally flat, um, don't put so many pebbles in and then just do, you know, a, a really thin layer of clear just over the top and that will all self-level itself as well. So a couple of different options for you, whichever you want to do. Um, some people may want to um, cut a piece of felt or something like that or cork and, and sit that underneath. So when you turn it over, it's got um, some felt on the back. So totally up to you. A few different ways you can do it. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Now I just have to wait until... Later on today, and we can unmold. <laughs> so exciting! See you soon. Okay, guys, I was going to wait for the morning because it's still slightly, slightly soft. If I push my nail into it, it makes a little dent, but I can't wait any longer. I can't wait any longer. All right, now, what is going to be the best way to unmold this? I think I'm going to start at the feet. Ta da! My first little foot little flipper I should say now like, like I said this is the first time I've poured in this mold Look, there's the tail get this flipper out first so I'll have to I'm just gonna take my time I'm not exactly sure you know how to unmold it but oh look I've got a little handle look at that I've got a handle there's a pebble in that one and this is this you can use as a handle as well but I think I'm gonna just Plop that over like that. Get that tail out. Oh gosh. I'm loosening everything. There we go. Oh look. I've got some um <laughs> I had some I've got I've got a little I've got a piece. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um leftover resin. <laughs> leftover resin oh it must have run in I must have overflowed it's run in I couldn't for the love of me work out what that was <gasps> oh my gosh all right this is exciting you guys this is this is so exciting okay now we've got these feet on the back I don't want to flip it over yet all right so just bear with me I don't want to flip it over yet don't peek all right don't look at things you're not supposed to look at just yet I'm going to get the whole thing loosened it's coming out really easily I'm going to put my hand under here so I can get a hold of his body. And then just a little bit of a overflow there. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, look. Oh, look. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if we get this. How do I, how do I hold you now? I'm just going to, okay, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to ease this over like this. Not difficult to do. And then I can flip it back inside out. There we go. Oh, it's out, it's out, it's out. Oh my gosh. Let's just put this back in again. There we go. Pop him back in. All right. Perfect. How easy was that? <gasps> it was so easy. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, look, 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 look. Let's check out the eyes first. Should we check out the eyes? Let's look at the eyes. Let's look at the eyes. Oh, look. Oh, look. His eyes are amazing. Amazing. Oh, the eyes are amazing. Okay. All right. Now, here we go. Oh, deep breath. I'm so nervous. Let's see what the shell's going to look like. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. Wow, look at that, oh, it's amazing, wow, look at that in there, can you see, oh, that is so cool, wow, look at this, this little tail, oh my gosh, that is, oh, that is divine. 
like a little point there. Oh, wow. Hello, little turtle. Hello. <laughs> I can just sit and stroke him. Oh, so cute. Love his little eyes. Now, if you wanted to, you could get a black marker and you could go over his little mouth and his little nostrils. There's an eyelid there if you wanted to, just to define those areas. Oh, so good. This is the first time I've ever seen it. Look at all the little features. And we've got these little features here on his flipper. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, um, you could get your silver marker and go through onto all of those. Or maybe you would do gold. <gasps> Should I try it? I kind of want to try it. And if you don't like it, you can just wipe it off. Um, would you go gold or silver? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Look how well his flippers turned out. Look at that. And they're a, they're a nice size. Look, they're nice and thick. Look at that. Wow, I love it, you guys. Love his little face. I'm so glad his little eyes have worked. Love it. Um, oh, do I want silver or do I want gold? I don't even know if I want to do it. Um, not trust silver, not that one. Not trust silver. See, this one's got, um, it's a chiseled edge, whereas this one's a big, round, fluffy edge. I'm going to just try it, um, and then, yeah, if I don't like it, I can go over it. Should I do it? Should I? Should I do it? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Just following that around like that. I don't know if I should be or not. I don't know. You guys will tell me, no doubt. No doubt you will tell me what you think. It's pretty easy just to follow it, actually. Because these are um, and they're lower. Um, the other thing you could do is when you get your mold, if you wanted to, you could get a marker, silver or gold, and you just go over these raised sections. And then when you unmold it, those will be in your turtle already. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how, if I, how I feel about it. I, I probably won't know until I've finished it. Finish the um all the lines so it might take me a little while I don't know what are you thinking so far do you are you liking it or not liking it these little grooves here are quite they're not like really narrow they're a good size so you can actually really color them in um, and see see what you think of it I'm sort of, sort of colouring them in. Just to add that extra little bit of bling, a little bit of sparkle. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so happy with it. So happy with it. You cannot imagine how happy I am. Okay, colouring them in. Um, yeah, if you don't like them, you can just get your baby wipe with some isopropyl alcohol and just you know wipe over them if you if you don't want them there but I just wanted to see what it would look like all right I'm not going to bore you with me coloring the whole thing in uh, I'll do it now and um, I'll take some photos for you tomorrow because it's dark now I just wanted to get it done I wanted to get it done let's look inside again I need to have some nice natural light coming in so that we can I can show you those gorgeous colors in there look at that so pretty <gasps> love it love it love it love it all right thank you so much for watching thanks for being here with me my my first time making my Gorgeous, huge turtle. Really appreciate you being here with me for my first. And um, there'll be many more. There will be many more. Look at him. Look at the size of him. He's just huge. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll take a nice photo for you tomorrow. Or if I, 
if we get some sunshine tomorrow I'll take him outside for you and do a little video all right but I'll say goodbye now because then when I do another video um, I'll probably just have a bit of music on in the background so thank you ever so much for being here with me and um, I will see you all again real soon for the next video take care guys bye for now